the world feels different. Things feel off and we feel like we're trapped in this multiverse of madness and we all have the same question. Oh, how can we get back? The world and our lives, by extension, have changed more drastically in the last decade than they ever have in human history. And this drastic and sudden change has left many of us feeling lost and chaotic. And this feeling has been resonated and has become a huge part of the stories that we tell. And I think that's why Everything Everywhere All at Once is an important and groundbreaking story. What is up? I am the G.I. Joel and I love stories. If you love reading or watching and talking about stories, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification to join the G.I. Joel Nation. Consider this your spoiler warning for everything, everywhere, all at once. If you're looking for a spoiler-free review of this film, be sure to check out mine in the description down below. This movie covers a lot of bases. You know, there's comedy, romance, suspense, action, you know, drama, all of it wrapped up in this over-the-top excessive packaging. At times, it can feel like you're just lost in this absolute chaotic mess. And it can kind of feel a lot like the world that we live in now. So much information coming at us all the time from every direction. But I think one of the important things that this movie is that it's centered around two very simple things. Taxes and laundry. Now, like I said, this movie is not at all a subtle parallel to how people feel living in the modern world. We have a limitless and infinite access to information from everywhere all over the world. And not just information, but the lives of others that we can see through small screens. And we're constantly inundated with what they're doing, the decisions that they made. And it forces us to reflect on our lives and ask, what could have I done differently? What could I have done to be like the hundreds of people that I see every day on the internet that seem so happy? And through the internet, we see everything, every right, every wrong, every injustice, and quite literally everything, everywhere, all at once. And despite all of this infinite knowledge and infinite access with infinite possibilities, here we are just doing taxes and laundry. It can make our lives feel meaningless and futile because, well, frankly... Now this raises the idea of how do we find meaning in all of this chaos? How do we find meaning when it feels like we're literally lost in a multiverse? And it's reflected through most of the stories that we tell today, from TV to other movies, all across our media, we're constantly asking ourselves, what do we do next? How do we as individuals move forward when it feels like there isn't a clear path ahead of us? And ultimately, this film presents us with two possible answers to that chaos two possible antidotes to the madness of the multiverse. Now, the first answer that we're given is to simply give in to the chaos, to simply give in to the everything bagel, much like Joy or Jobu Tubaki, to just accept that the madness is all around us, that it's all meaningless, that the chaos is all that there is, and to just put ourselves into it fully and totally abandon who we are, just to embrace the chaos, embrace the meaninglessness, and let the everything bagel, the void, consume us entirely. And this is a very easy idea for us to give into. I mean, even in the movie, Evelyn considers this heavily, and most of it is her fighting against this ideal. Simply put, we should just destroy everything. Reveal the raccoon under the hat. Give up on your hot dog finger wife. None of it matters. Just smash the laundromat and call it a day. Because ultimately, what does it matter when there is an infinite possibility, an infinite answer, then none of them are right. None of them are wrong. They all just are. For many of us, this can feel like the appropriate answer to just give in to the madness, give in to the chaos, and just release ourselves into the void. But this does come with an ultimate cost that I think we see in the destruction of Joy and Evelyn's relationship. When we give up and give into this void, we are giving up the things that matter most to us, and most importantly, we're giving up ourselves as individuals. Now, our second answer may seem a bit cliche or even naive, but I think that's just a way of writing off you know, really profound truths that come out very simply. And we see this answer in like the least likely of all places where you would never expect to find it in Evelyn's husband, Wayman. I think the film did a really great job of showing that Wayman makes these choices, not from a place of naivety, not from a place of weakness, but as a strategy, a way of dealing with all of these endless possibilities. Through him, we see that seeing the best in what you have, seeing the best possibilities for what is presented in front 
front of you in this moment, that loving unconditionally with open arms, that bringing down walls requires so much more strength than putting them up. And that true strength really is just doing your taxes and laundry and just making the best of it every single day. And Wayman says it best that even if we are scared and confused and lost, that being kind to each other is our only option, that fighting constantly will get us nowhere, that being truly kind to one another is really the only way to move forward because in reality we're all feeling just as alone just as lost so the least we can do is try to treat each other kindly like i said this comes off as a rather simplistic answer but i think wayman puts it best when he says that it's a strategic choice that it takes strength for him to be like this for him to choose to just be happy with what he has because if you let yourself open to all of these endless possibilities if you leave yourself open if you fill the pot all the way it will crack and it will fall apart into pieces but if you just focus on the things that you have if you focus on the connections that are closest to you and that mean the most that reaching out and just not letting go of each other is ultimately the way to move forward and to establish some kind of order in all of this madness and we see these two I opposing ideals come against each other in a really beautiful way with just a woman and her daughter hugging in a parking lot just figuring it out just accepting that this is who they are that this is where they are and ultimately that's what matters the most have you seen everything everywhere all at once i would love to hear your thoughts on it down in the comments as always be sure to like and subscribe hit that bell notification to join the gi joel nation and i'll see you in the next video